Skinwalker Ranch is known for all the unexplained experiences that have happened there over the decades. Many have tried to find some kind of explanation. Are all the strange happenings paranormal? Is it the work of aliens? Or is there some kind of scientific explanation? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Miranda. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can be notified when I upload a new video, which has <laughs> not been very regular lately, but I'm hoping I can get back into it. So today we're gonna be talking about Skinwalker Ranch. If you have not heard of Skinwalker Ranch before, it is located in the Uinta Basin in Utah on about 500 acres of land. There's been reports of a lot of unexplained activity happening for the past decades, if not centuries at the ranch. Things like cattle mutilations, UFO sightings, and high radiation readings. The land doesn't look any different from any of the land surrounding it, which makes it that much more intriguing as to what is causing all of this unexplained activity. So the word skinwalker comes from the Native American culture. It is said to be a shape-shifting demonic entity that usually takes the form of another animal, usually a wolf-like animal. But I've also heard many other people describe skinwalkers in other ways. I, I guess it can really be whatever your int interpretation of it is. So I first heard of the Skinwalker Ranch while I was watching an episode of Ghost Adventures many years ago. They were investigating a property, um, I believe just in the area of Skinwalker Ranch, maybe next door, something along those lines. I can't fully remember. And I didn't really have any interest in Skinwalker Ranch at that point, but then a year or two ago, I found a show called The Secrets of Skinwalker Ranch. Um, I believe it originally airs on the History Channel. However, I watched it on Discovery Plus. So if you wanna check that out, if you have Discovery Plus, that's somewhere that you can watch the show. But in this show, a group of investigators and scientists begin doing some different experiments to try and figure out what is causing all of the odd and unexplained activity that they keep experiencing on the ranch. As early as 1911, a newspaper reported strange noises coming from the basin, and homesteaders began hearing and seeing unexplained phenomena. By the 1970s, many UFO sightings had been reported and documented, and people had also been experiencing acute medical experiences such as vertigo, nausea, temporary paralysis, and perception altering experiences. Then in 1992, the Sherman family bought the property. And this is when they started experiencing cattle mutilations. And the crazy thing about this, even more crazy than just cattle mutilations in general, was these things were happening during the daytime, not even at night, in the daytime. And this was not like an animal had gotten a hold of the cattle and somehow did these things. This was like surgically precise cattle mutilations. And the very strange thing is that there was no blood found near or under, around any of the cattle that this happened to. Now, I don't know about you, but I cannot think of any explanation, any logical explanation that could explain what was happening to the cattle that they had. So if you have any ideas or know what actually could do that, let me know down in the comments down below. During their time on the property, the Sherman family lost at least 20% of the cattle that they had due to all of these strange happenings on the, on the ranch. During my research on the Skinwalker Ranch, I also found that they experienced crop circles, UFO sightings, heard um, unexplained voices, heard voices calling from seemingly nowhere, among many other strange experiences. At one point, the family even saw a wolf attacking the cattle. Now, the strange thing about this was that they shot the wolf multiple times, but the wolf continued to attack, seemingly unharmed and not reacting to the shots whatsoever. Eventually, the wolf ran off and vanished. Now, I'm not sure how credible that wolf story is. I did find it when I was doing some of my research, um, but you never know. So, as always, do your own research. If you are into this kind of thing, research it yourself. 
make your own conclusions. But regardless of how credible that story is or not, it does seem that the Sherman family went through quite a bit throughout their short time on the property. In 1996, the family was finally driven away after so much paranormal activity, and later that same year, a billionaire by the name of Robert Bigelow acquired the property. Bigelow started an unprecedented scientific study with his team, the National Institute of Discovery. This later transitioned into Bigelow Aerospace Advanced Space Studies, and it was funded and kept highly confidential by the U.S. government. Now, many of the professionals that were involved in these studies on the ranch at that time refused to ever step foot there again, which in my opinion says right there that there are some very strange things happening on that ranch. We just don't know what they are yet. So currently the ranch is owned by Brandon Fugel who acquired the property in 2016. He owns the largest real estate enterprise in Utah and is also an investor and co-founder in other enterprises that involve technology. Now he created a team to begin investigating and taking care of the ranch and to hopefully start documenting some of the activity that has been happening on the ranch. He was really hoping to find answers with some of these investigations and they were able to document quite a few experiences on the ranch. So on January 19th, 2018, at 1.41 a.m., they captured a section of the mesa that became illuminated. Now, the mesa was a ridge that was on the edge of the property, and in the show, they talk about the mesa quite a bit, so I highly encourage you to watch the show if you are interested in Skinwalker Ranch. Then almost a year later, on December 23rd, 2018, at 5.52 a.m., they recorded pillars of light or beams of light that seemed to be moving upward. And they were unable to debunk these lights as any businesses or anything like that close by. And they also caught an object in the sky that ended up disappearing behind the mesa. And this object traveled at a speed that is not consistent with any aircraft that we are aware of at this time. They even checked flight records, and there were no records of any flights at that time, whether it be commercial or private, there was nothing in the records. So they really did try and do investigations to where they could try and debunk certain things to find answers. Okay, so that brings us to where the show begins. The show begins in 2019 when Brandon Fugel brings in Dr. Travis Taylor, who is an aerospace engineer and optical scientist, so basically a rocket scientist. Now, Dr. Travis Taylor has worked for NASA, the government, and has many credentials. He's also a very big skeptic, and when he heard these stories, he thought they were just that, stories. There was no substance to them. Now, in the show, the team conducts many different experiments to try to find answers or explanations for any of the activity that's been happening on the ranch. So there are three homesteads on the property that seem to be hotbeds for a lot of the activity, especially Homestead 2. Now, during their time on the ranch and conducting these experiments, they had many seemingly unexplained events happen, very similar to the Sherman family. They had cattle deaths, UFO sightings, radiation readings, beams of light, helicopter mal malfunctions, phone and equipment malfunctions, and another team member even almost died from an injury that seemed to be unexplained. They used all kinds of equipment to assist in their investigations, but as of the season two finale, they had not come up with any definitive explanations. Now, I saw recently that they did have a season three out. However, I have not watched that yet. It's on my list of shows that I would like to watch. So I'm not sure what answers, if any, they find in that season. So if you have seen that season, go ahead and let us know down in the comments what kind of explanations they find out or what kind of experiments they do, if anything new. Okay, so let's talk some of the possible theories for all of the activity on Skinwalker Ranch. So one theory is aliens. So UFOs have been seen and equipment has picked up magnetic fields, unexplained magnetic fields. It has been such a hotbed for activity that some enthusiasts have even started calling it UFO Alley. However, it could just be something that is naturally occur occurring in the area as far as the magnetic 
magnetic fields. Okay, the next theory is it could be a Native American curse. So the U and the Navajo people had somewhat of a falling out. And according to historians, the Navajo started to mistreat the Ute people. And because of this, many people believe that the land could be cursed because of the conflict between these two tribes. This is probably one of the theories I lean more towards just because I know a lot of people talk about the old Indian burial grounds and if you, you know, disturb any of that, there's tons of paranormal activity. So that one's kind of up high on what I think, but I'll let you know what I think at the very end. The next theory is an interdimensional portal because things seem to appear and disappear quickly, but that's really the only thing that kind of goes with that theory, so I'm not sure how that is. That's kind of what a lot of people think happens to Bigfoot is he's an interdimensional being. That That's a story for another video, but that's what I think of when I hear that theory. And then the last theory that I think they actually mention in this show is that it could be a meteor crash site from millions of years ago. And this could cause the magnetic fields and possibly even the radiation that they have found and had readings for. Similar activity has been found at other meteor crash sites as well. Now, the meteor crash site is probably the one that I think is the most plausible theory. So what do you think is happening on the ranch? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think it's one of the theories that I mentioned or do you have your own theory as to what is going on there? I am so fascinated by anything that is unexplained like this. So if you, want me to do more videos talking about different unexplained activity or different unexplained things, let me know that down in the comments below as well. But that is all for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.